Hello everybody, it's still Rob and we're now on to the video number six I wonder if I'm going to get to the 20 I said video number six and that's setting up your core page your your it's basically like when you set up a, a store you're putting the counters you buying the chairs the lighting the windows the paintings on the wall you're creating the look that when Google pitches up Google says yeah this this okay this guy is about X but equally, when the public pitches up, they think, woohoo, this is what I love. And that's what this is all about, okay? It's the basic structure. And, and it might be as many as 30 pages, by the way. So let's go through this. Um, and I'm hoping to get this done for you in not a one-hour video. Incidentally, it should be a one-hour video. Uh, or actually, better still, five one-hour videos to teach to you properly. And again, you go back to the main training. <clears throat> and you will find it there in the details but first up you can shortcut this and pay somebody to set up these pages for you um, in my case you'd be looking at uh, in the region of two or three thousand dollars so take care rather do it yourself but it depends on your your relationship with time and money right the absolute core pages are your home page your about page your contact us your service page depending what you've got your shop page if you've got a shop the blog section and then the legal pages which are hidden but to the public but they need to be found by google which is you know disclaimer terms and condition that kind of thing they must be findable but not <coughs> like on the main menu so you know, let's say, for example, um, I'm a camping website, which I've been using as an example through this training. So up along the top, it'll be um, whatever my, my keywords, sorry, my keywords would tell me what they are, too. So you've got to remember this, the top pillar pages. But in here, there might be three categories that, that I decided to focus on, and those will be pages that are still big keyword pages but they'll appear on my menu so in other words instead of services i'll have a page that says um <clears throat> rv rentals and you know whatever it is so whatever those ones are you need to take care that you don't go too broad so when i say top pillar pages it's three types so firstly there's the huge keyword pages that your keyword research will tell you what they are when you've done your keywords research right, you will immediately know that you need to have those three or five or ten pages because they're all getting, let's say, for example, more than 10,000 searches a month. So at any given time, those are literally there. They don't need to be on your menu, but they need to be in your silo structure. So you'd have, <coughs> excuse me, big keywords volume searches. And by the way, if they're getting 30, 40,000 um, searches, then you need to make that page 6,000 words, 4,000 words, 10,000 words. Make it literally a, a pillar page. I'll call it a pillar page. I used to call them super pages. Um, and they are in the training in more detail if you want to learn about that. But it's essentially where you literally take that keyword page. So let's just say it's RV rv rentals is now my main one of my keywords big ones so that rv rental i will then take that keyword rv rentals and i will go and do keyword research and i'll take the top five keywords from the keyword research and make those chapters under my main page and the chapter will be cheap rv rentals rv rentals near me um what to watch out for in rv rentals whatever it all is and at the bottom i'll have frequently asked questions which i'll research um, and all of this is too much detail in here because I've got that on, on pillar pages and posts, etc. in my other training. But you need those pages, so the pillar pages. Then you need user experience pages. This is what I call the cool pages. Um, remember, let's go with RV rentals. Um, I mean, what do I want to know? I want to know? I want to see comparisons for me. I want to see price comparisons. I want to see, uh, do the three-wheel ones, are they better than this? Do, do, is it better to have a, a motorhome or, or a pool trailer? Um, what about prices? I mean, I've for six months, I've really been in love with uh, one that, let's not use brand names, 
stunning stunning little trailer it's a tiny little camper man it's so cool and it's small yes it's got a bed in a kitchen no loser i don't think and it's fifty thousand dollars and you know what i'm i'm cool with that but then the other day i saw one that's like a hotel on wheels for fifty thousand dollars so now now my comparison is is it better to have the hotel and a hell of a lot more of a schlep in towing or have the lightweight one that's quick and easy clip it and i'm gone in 10 minutes i don't know so for me the user experience on that one would be comparing weight comparing prices so i just call it the comparison pages and i can tell you now people are going to go into there long before they they go to the others right then you've got next level pages which would be part of my silo structure training but it's really speaking that they would be pages that kind of all focus up towards these big keyword pages and they 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 might or might not be in the menu but they they things that you want to focus on so let's just go back to let's okay i was going to say go back to cycling let's not let's stick to the camping so on these pages one of these pages could be motorhomes um used rv vans um school bus conversions uh diy conversions you know that kind of thing and so th they're all related you know so somebody like me thinks that i would like to convert a school bus yay i can do it all for seven thousand dollars but really it, it might be a fire hazard it might never tow straight i might tip it so that it's permanently weighted too heavily on the left and and will drive in circles forever the, the risk of it all is, you know what, it's far better for me to do what I do well and pay $50,000 for a beautifully brand new one that when I push a button, it goes and nothing goes bah, bah, and blows up. All of that will be in the next level pages. I'm done with that. Okay, so now category and silo structure is, again, part of my training elsewhere, but it works like this. Let me pause this and show you one on mine. I started to do a silo structure on a brand new website the other day. So I think it's safe to show you. Let me pause it and see if I can show you one second. Because I bought fibromyalgiatreatment.org. I did it because I want to do the exact blogging systems that I'm telling you to do here. I want to do it there. And hello, I'm telling you it's a full day job. I've already got three full day jobs and I've got fibromyalgia. So the chances of this blog succeeding, I've got at about 10%. But it doesn't scare me from starting. So let's go here. I've got pages. Let's go to my pages. So I want to target broad keywords. So you can see I've done what I'm talking about to you here. So I've started. This is good. I've got the contact us, the about us. This might even be a real page. Okay. I've got the legal pages, privacy policy. I've got the main fibro page done. But then I've got chronic fatigue syndrome, and it's a draft. And I've got multiple MS, which is a draft, and fibromyalgia flares, which is a draft. So these are my core pages that I plan to make, or category pages. But in truth, they're silo pages. Let's just go and see what I've got. This one's nearly done. I don't have a logo yet, and I haven't done much. I've said about us. I'm here to to just be there for you, fibromyalgia people. Um, now, if you look here, I've used the theme. Uh, this is what I teach. I, I, can you see these loopy things behind there? Let me go to the page. So the page comes preloaded. It looks like this. Electrical contractor licensed and insured. <laughs> so I must have loaded one of their pages in, in here. So... I don't know if this says about us, contact us on that other page I had. Did I really go off that page? I really did. And I got over there fast. But anyway, so I've got to go in here and change these words to say, well, something about lupus. Um, and then talk about it. And then remove any of this that I do or don't want. Which is pretty much what I had done. If you look to the other one, it's got this one left. But I removed all of that and I removed all of this. I've kept it simple because... I plan to build out the silo. Now let's go to the silo. So if I go to my silo structure in here, um, each one of these words is now a core page, right? So let's take lupus as an example. So I'm going to need to go to, to, to this place. It's called Google. <laughs> right. 
Right, so, and I just want the core keywords from, from this. So I'm going to cheat because I've got the system set up. 1.8 million searches. I'd love to be the top Lupus site. I know I'll never be because it's not a Lupus website. But it's a terrible, terrible disease. I've got a friend of that. Right, so I want not just related keywords, but I want similar keywords. So, so my bad. Uh, people also searched for related. So, sorry, this is the one I want. So, I want to load metrics. And there we go. So, these are the keywords. By the way, I'd do it a little bit better. So, I'd export it to CSV. I'd load these metrics. Well, I might as well do this. I need this anyway. So, I exported to CSV. There we go. It's coming. And I export to CSV. There we go. And it's coming. Uh, give me a second to pause this and open those two. One second. This is really going about it the very, very fast way. So I'd literally take this, these keywords, right? And I'm going to take them. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open it into one of these things. <laughs> Makes you wonder that I'm teaching you how to do stuff and I don't know words. Notepad. Right, so now there's that. They literally just dumped in there. Um, I would do this a little bit better. I would go back here and look at ones that that are no good. So, but I, these, by the way, I'm, I'm not going to ignore these that have got low searches because it doesn't matter. So... I want to go in here and see what I don't want to like lupus wiki. I'm not going to be a lupus wiki person. Um, early lupus symptoms, lupus, lupus life expectancy. I've got no idea what SLE treatment is, but I bet you it's related to lupus. And that's like a really strange looking dinosaur word. Um, can you see? So there we go. Here's something else. ICD-10. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Uh, by the way, when it's one that I don't... It's going to be far too hard for me. I'll go down here and see what the hell it is. And so let's find out what it is. Isn't it terrible to see the word dying with a, with a thing? It's just sad. 2,000 searches a month, so I'm not removing it. Okay, so once I've got all of these, right, give me a second. And I'm going to close this one. It's going to ask me if I want to share it. And I'm going to do don't save. This is the other one that I asked for. Um, Fatal Lupus Wiki is going to go again. So stop it I want the keywords I want that one too can I please have that one too thank you so I'm going to copy those and bring it across to my thing again and and by the way this is exactly how I do it so the, the, but with a bit more thinking now because hello I'm teaching you and not doing much thinking but these are all words guide to lupus what do to do when lupus flares hey I feel bad for people with these kind of things. Right, so now I take all of these. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put, uh, what's that word, a comma. Don't save, don't save. In between them, so let's go back to, what was that? Oh, because I was downloading stuff. Uh, let's go back to my page. So here on Lupus, I'm going to go to there, and I'm going to, it doesn't say comma. So I'm going to go back into, no, it deleted all those other ones. It will teach me to talk and work. And now there's only these keywords. That whole list is gone. I must have cut it or something. So fine. Let's presume that I've copied that whole list. I'm literally going to go in here, I set it to draft, I've set it under lupus, and I literally just, let's not use the word dump, but I dump it in there and I click make it so. And what will happen is those 30 keywords that I need to eventually write products on, all of them appear under here under lupus treatment, what causes lupus, lupus contagious, lupus wiki, really? I tell you, I thought I made that one go away too. That's obviously where I went. Oh, damn. 
it was in here too so now I've got a mess because I've uh, this obviously this button was clicked and now I've got double of all these things damn never ever ever guys never build the with physical websites while you're talking okay so when you go to my posts I'm gonna immediately be able to see that early lupus symptoms is under lupus that's fine I wanted that so lupus wiki I'm gonna trash because that was wrong so sorry I know you're watching me fix my mistakes and then oh that's interesting that showed up in here but it hasn't made it so because this is only under the category lupus right so if I go back in my site builder let's go back to my new site builder let's remove those in case it gets the urge they're really in here so I'm gonna ignore what was going on let's pretend you didn't talk about that <coughs> so now <coughs> when I need to write about something at the end of this whole course I'm gonna tell you two blog posts a day so I will come in here and I will copy this I'm gonna to go to edit and I'm gonna copy that keyword early lupus symptoms I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm going to there it is and I'm going to research it I'm going to look at all of these I'm not going to become a super super giant on it because I'm going to start my page off by stating I am not an expert on lupus I am not a doctor but I have researched it to the point where I feel that you can benefit from these details so I'm going to take 10 early signs. I'm going to research it enough. I'm doing a half an hour research. Yay. Um, and then I'm going to pick the ones I think were really good articles here. So creaky joints or where I'm going to actually put a link and say, look, these are the guys that I felt had the best information on go there if you need to. But ultimately what I want to do is I want the whole point of this is for me to, oh, by the way, make a video about it, even from this page literally like i'm doing now but it would be better to make a video that's through that place called sorry about my fibro brain today it's down here it's called powerpoint i put together a powerpoint six slides with these um, 10 most common lupus issues and state guys again this is a video i'm making not a doctor not an expert i've done research I don't even have lupus I've got fibromyalgia but I do have a website that is about chronic pain flares and that kind of thing and I feel that if I can give enough information for people on all of these issues and can help people work together etc etc so when by the way on this page that I'm talking about then when it publishes to now this one I will have a list of resources and places to go to that's all I want I want Google to rank me so powerful because at first glance nothing has been advertised on there my blog this one I'm planning it to be almost invisible from a monetization point of view but on it anywhere when the word stress comes up I will have my banners for this training and if I can get that up to 50,000 or 100,000 visitors a month um, why couldn't I get uh, one or two hundred or hundred new members a month from there you see so all worth it for me right so categories and silo structure a little bit of thinking it goes down in there by the way let's go back there because I think my categories do show up as correct so let's go to categories my categories because I'm all about chronic pain are all of the chronic pain MS fibromyalgia fair chronic treatment so that's what I've chosen to be my mind and they, they would there should be more um, they will appear because I know that I'm ignoring some major ones here and I've got chronic fatigue I've got MS and lupus but I know that I should have in here um, sciatica for example serious lower back pain I mean that could cripple people so and it's also it's so all forms of chronic pain it's what this will be about but ultimately my main ones will always come back to fibromyalgia 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 because I am plan it to be more related to fibromyalgia so there are my categories and silo structures now your menu which I talk about here must be about user experience 
UX user experience. So make it cool. Make it popular keywords. So if your menu's got what people are looking for and not evil boring stuff, they are going to get into your website and go sailing around and love it. Bear that in mind when you do it. So that's basically it. You have to take all of this that I'm telling you about. Now you saw me load only two, four, six, eight, ten pages into the silo structure. You don't need those pages now. Those will be next level pages down here. Um, I'm just saying that they, they, they are there. They're the next level pages. Basically, you need the six or eight top pages that you need here. Your big keyword pages, which might be two and it might be four. And your cool pages might be two and it might be five or ten. And so those five or ten or fifteen pages, once you've got them all nicely laid out and at least 500 words on each page, you're now ready. Now anybody can come to your website and say, ooh, okay, oh, this is cool, you know, because it's enough. Not enough to rank you and not enough to keep people going from page to page. And you obviously wouldn't have at this point put enough magazine style links and clips and things in the future, which you'd have to set up when you get to daily blogging. We'll talk about that, but that's it. So basically now your core pages are done. Let's get to the next video. Done. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Cheers.